there. My name is Allison Damon. I am a brass instructor at Salem Lessons and today I'm going to teach you your first trumpet lesson. Alright, so before we start actually playing the trumpet, there's going to be a couple of things that we want to do to set us up for making a sound on the instrument. The first one that we're going to talk about is breathing. So when you're playing a wind instrument, the type of breath that you're going to take is very different than the kind of breath that you take on an average day when you're just like walking through the streets. Two things to set us up. One is we want to be able to have a nice relaxed approach. So what I like to do is I like to say the word hope. So say it with me now. Hope, hope, hope and notice both the shape that the inside of your mouth is making and then also notice your lips and if they feel relaxed. So both of those should be accomplished when you say hope. Just say it normal, no need to get weird or anything. Just hope, hope, hope. So nice and relaxed here and then nice big open relaxed breath. So I want you to say hope one more time and as you're doing it I want you to take a nice, deep, relaxed breath in on that shape. So, mm -hmm. let's do a couple more like that. And one more. All right, so once we have that nice, relaxed shape, an exercise that I like to do is to create a little bit of a karate chop sort of a situation with your hand. And what the karate chop is going to do is we're going to play it right here while we're breathing. And it's going to create a little bit of a resistance, like when you have the trumpet on your face, or if you have like the mouthpiece on your face, there's like a thing in the way of you breathing. So we're trying to mimic that with the karate chop. And the karate chop also is a tool for like helping you hear what kind of breath you're taking in. The kind of breath that we want is a nice, open, relaxed, like deep whooshing sound. Like imagine that you're at the beach on like a windy day and like the kind of sound that you hear like there. So some examples of breaths like this. That's a fine breath. But what we don't want is if it sounds like too, too high or too like small, like Mm -mm. See, it was like, <laughs> it's too high pitched. Or if we like don't hear anything at all, also not what we're going for. We're getting, trying to get as much air in as fast as possible, but a nice relaxed open breath so that when we play, we're nice and relaxed. So we'll do a couple more of those karate chop breaths. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a nice one. And one more. Great, great, great. Okay, so now that we're like set up for the best possible breath for playing, um, we're gonna talk about our embouchure. So embouchure is just a word that we use to describe um, how you shape your face when you're playing a wind or brass instrument. So steps to getting a lovely trumpet embouchure. Um, I want you to go f, f, like the letter F, like as in fish or fancy or flight, go f, and while you're doing that, notice what your corners of your mouth do. They're gonna like kind of tighten up a little bit, kind of create sort of the situation. And that's what we want. We want the corners to be the stability of our playing. And then we want the middle, um, we want the middle to be nice and relaxed. So I want you to go f and then as your corners are like that, I want you to go mm. So f, f mm, mm. So the mm is gonna bring your lips together, but not too tight. Mm. And then to mimic the kind of way that the air is going to leave, I want you to go p, p. So like like a p sort of a situation, but with the f and the m. Mm. So f, m, mm, p. So you should be able to move right through your lips, but still keeping them close enough together that they can create a vibration inside of the mouthpiece. All right, next step. We're going to get the mouthpiece out and we're going to do a little bit of a buzzing. So the trumpets, when you play the trumpet, the sound is created by um, your lips creating a vibration in the mouthpiece and that's what creates the sound. So if we can have a nice, beautiful buzzing sound, then it's gonna be really easy for us to be able to play the trumpet. So, well, you're gonna go f, mm, p, and you're gonna do that inside of the mouthpiece, bring your lips a little bit closer together, and then you're gonna hear sort of a silly sound like this.
So nice full sound. Um, the things that you might hear when you're first doing your buzzing. If you don't have enough air, remember you're taking the nice big breath that you're taking out. So hope, karate chop. That's the same kind of breath that you're taking here. So like without the karate chop, it's gonna look. And so. But if it's under supported, it'll end up sounding kind of like this. It'll sound kind of like weak or maybe even the sound won't come out. Um, if you have too much pressure, it'll probably sound something more like this, like. Like that crackly sound. Um, if your embouchure is too loose, well, so like if you don't have your corners firm and you're just like, just like a normal mouth like this, it's gonna be like, <laughs> kind of hear that, like kind of the crackly sound from too much pressure, um, but like a lot, like a little bit of a lower pitch and kind of more spread out in the crackly sounds. And then if, if it's both under supported, meaning you don't have enough air and it's too much pressure and it's gonna sound like or you might not get a sound at all so remember nice big hope breath and then out through the mouthpiece so yeah I want you to try that a few times trying to get the nice like buzziest ringiest sound that you can and also making sure that everything like feels nice you shouldn't be in pain there shouldn't be any like stiffness going on stiffness is just gonna kill sound so nice big breath in all right now that we know how to make a nice beautiful buzz on the mouthpiece it's actually gonna make playing the trumpet a lot easier because this is the hardest part about playing the trumpet. So the way to hold the instrument, you're gonna have your left hand, you're gonna have your left thumb inside of this little saddle thing that are right next to the valves. These, where the buttons go down and like inside of this, these are the valves. So thumb here, and then you're gonna reach over and there's gonna be a little, um, ring here or it might also be a saddle depending on your trumpet and you're gonna put either your middle finger or your ring finger in that hole uh, whichever feels more comfortable for you for me my hands are like a certain size like they're a little bit smaller and like my holes a little bit farther out so it's more comfortable for me to put my middle finger in but it might be more comfortable for you to put your ring finger in whatever works all right so you should be able to have your left hand nice and sturdy and so something like this, you can either put your pinky down here or if it's comfortable up here, you can put it there. But the dream is that we have our left hand nice and sturdy so that our right hand can be nice and loose and be able to just nice and gently put finger one, two, three on. So index finger, first valve, middle finger, second valve, ring finger, third valve, just like this. And then your thumb is gonna go right there underneath this pipe right here, the lead pipe, right next to the first valve. So, recap. Left hand, left thumb in the saddle, and then across the valve casing, and then middle finger or ring finger in that hole right there. Pinky either down here or up here, and we should be able to hold it nice and steady. And then if you're having a hard time getting the fingers to like be in a nice way. We want like a nice little C shape so you can take a moment and set your trumpet down and you can take your uh, forearm and just like go like this just to create a nice relaxed C shape and then you can take that and bring it to the trumpet. So like boop and then finger one, two, three. Be sure to keep your fingertips on the valves at all times, whether you're playing a note that uses the valves or not. And then thumb rests gently down here. And then you're gonna have this like little pinky ring situation there. And I would advise to put your pinky on top of it for now. Um, putting it inside can create extra tension that we don't need. But if you do need extra stability for any reason, if it's comfy, you can do it. But just make sure that it's not like making you jam your trumpet into your face. All right, so 
We now know how to breathe. Remember the, the whole breath, the karate chop. That's the breath we want. Um, we know what our embouchure or the, the shape of our mouth should be like. It should be like mm, nice sturdy corners, nice loose, gentle middle of the lips right here. So do like this. And then the mouthpiece, um, we want to make sure we have a nice supported breath like we did when we were buzzing. And actually, before you take your very first note on the trumpet, I want you to go back to the mouthpiece for a moment and do the big breath and create the most beautiful um, buzz with a nice ringing sound. And then we're going to take that same sound and we're going to take the same breath in that we did. Thumb under here, finger, 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 pinky on the ring, and we're going to play a note. And one of two notes will probably come out, either a C or a G. So depending on which of those notes come out first, um, or you might get something that's like in between them. Um, you can hear like kind of a sound like one of those. And you can kind of feel when you are like in the center of the pitch and not like outside of it. So when you're like below it or above it, it'll feel weird. It'll be like and it'll sound weird like that. But when you're in the center, your lips will be able to buzz freely and you'll like feel extra vibration. So what I want you to do after you've gone through all the steps and you're finally playing the trumpet, I want you to practice playing your first note, whether it's a C or a G, great, get comfy in that. And then I want you to experiment and try to get the other note out and see which things change, whether you're playing the higher note or the lower note. So like playing the higher note, you're gonna need a little, you're gonna need faster air and your lips will probably be a little bit closer together. You'll have like a little bit more lip pressure. And so just practice finding the balance between the two. Practice just trying to make different sounds. Have fun. See what comes out. There's going to be a lot of really weird sounds and a lot of it's going to sound really funky and that's great. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, and that's how you play the trumpet. Thanks so much. Bye.